Hey guys, this is Rod and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today is Saturday and this only means that I have a new one command creation for you guys. This is gonna be a pretty cool one, I promise. And oh damn it, I always have to spawn in the Mesa biome. Anyways, I will deal with it. We are in winter anyway, so yeah. Alright guys, so as the title spoiled you because that title, that damn title always spoils what I create in these command creations. Um, yeah, you know it, today I created some advanced potions in vanilla minecraft using only one command block so in order to import this machine you give yourself a command block use this command in chat uh, give it p slash give it p command underscore block hit enter and you will get a command block then you go in the video description there's a link which will forward you to my web page and from that web page you copy the command you paste it inside the command block with ctrl plus v you press on this button press on done and boom the machine will be generated in just a few seconds now you already should know how you import one of these machines because I'm making so many one command creations that uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys got used to the intro. Anyways, um, let's continue. So, uh, of course you can activate or deactivate the machine by right clicking on those signs and get the crafting recipes. Now I have everything here prepared in my inventory and let me show you guys what you have to do to create these custom potions. The first thing that you have to do, you place down an enchantment table because we need to create some enchanted uh, powder. This powder will be used together with other potions in order to craft some advanced potions. How you craft the enchanted powder? You drop a gas tier on top of a, an enchantment table that will start to float in the air and then what's important is that they will give you exactly six of these powders. Now I'm not going to pick them up because I don't want them to uh, interfere with the other items that I have prepared here and numbered. So you, you will just stay there, it's just for demonstration purposes. Of course, if you want to get some other ones, you just drop a gust here. So we'll, you will have to go in the nether, fight the gusts in order to create these potions. And I can say that it's totally worth it to battle these gusts because the potions that you can make with these gust here are really useful in some cases. Right, so now the next thing is that we have to craft, of course, the actual potions. Again, I didn't want to make a ground crafting because I wanted to make it as realistic as possible. So all the crafting that can be done in this command creation, they are actually done on a uh, brewing sand. So you will, you will have to brew these potions in order to create the advanced ones. Right, so make sure guys that you pay attention at the exact item, the exact potion that I use for these crafting recipes because there are different types of, uh, for example, swiftness potions. Make sure that it is the speed to swift swiftness potion and uh, so on. So keep in mind, pay attention guys at the potions that I'm using in these crafting recipes. Also there is only one simple rule to create these advanced potions is that you will have to stand on the brewist, brewing stand, okay? Just step on it uh, when you craft these things or it will not work otherwise. You have to stay inside the brewing stand or on top of it. Not on top here, but on top here. Right, now let's open the brewing stand interface and there is actually another rule that you have to follow, which is you first place the potions needed for the crafting recipes in these inventories, then you place the blaze powder, only one blaze powder here, and at the end you place the exact number of enchanted powder in this slot here. Make sure that you place only one blaze powder because otherwise the brewing stand will be reset and you will lose all of the blaze powders that you leave inside. Right, so for the first crafting recipe we will need to use a potion of leaping. You place it here in this middle slot and five enchanted powder. But before, as I said, we place the blaze powder here, the normal one, and then five enchanted powders on top. And voila, we got a gravitational potion. As the name says, you will have your gravity change so you will fall down a bit slower how you use these potions you don't have to right click on them otherwise you will lose the item and just throw a normal lingering potion but you have to just drop the item using q and if we use it it will have a radius of action of 10 blocks and it will pick up the closest player so here you can see that we got some jump boost and levitation effect so you can see that now we are falling a lot slower and also we will not get full damage so if you are going to jump from, from a cliff and slowly fall down, of course, we don't want you to take damage. And this is the first potion. Now, the second one is, well, I don't remember it, so I have to craft it. Oh yeah, it's the levitation effect. Yeah, I forgot it. When you have a levitation effect applied to you, you cannot open interfaces. So keep this in mind. Okay, so the next crafting recipe 
is, uh, well, we'll have to place a potion of swiftness, speed to effect, 1 minute and 30 seconds. The exact potion, you place it here, then we place one blaze powder here and two enchanted powders on the top slot to have an ultra swiftness potion. Now, as the name says, also you can see it in the lore, it will give you a speed 13 effect. I will use this uh, later. Now, let me craft the next one. Let's place a water bottle here, um, a normal blaze powder here, and an enchanted powder here, and we got a when pigs fly potion. Now, I will show this you later. Let's place the potion of swiftness speed for 3 minutes here in the middle. Again, a normal blaze powder here. And this time 30 enchanted powders, so they are a lot, but you, you will see that it is totally worth it. Because we will be able to craft an equ equine, or how you pronounce it, equine drug, which permanently increases the speed of your horse, and it will go really fast, and I'm going to show you it later. So the next one, you will have to place exactly 3 water bottles on the 3 slots here, again another blaze powder and two enchanted powders on the top one to craft a super saturation potion it will give you a saturation effect for 10 minutes so you'll not have to eat anything for 10 minutes really useful the next one you will have to use a potion of weakness which has a weakness effect for one minute and 30 seconds again the blaze powder and two enchanted powders on the top to get a leg weakness potion this will make you unable to jump for one minute, or you or the players on which you throw this potion. The next one, you take an awkward potion, you place it here, you place the normal powder and the enchanted powder, one enchanted powder on the top to craft a milk potion. This will remove all the effects. And the last one, actually it's not the last one, we use, we use the leg weakness potion, which is one of the craftable advanced potions, you place it here. A potion of slowness effect, slowness for 1 minute and 30 seconds here, a blaze powder, 3 enchanted powders, and this time it crafted a paralyzing potion. If you throw this on a player, it will make him unable to jump and move for 1 minute, so he can't do anything, anything, like, he has to stay still for 1 minute and you can of course kill him. The last one is, I think it is a powerful one, because I can see that it uh, demands a lot of resources, so take a potion of healing, a water bottle in the middle and a potion of regeneration 45 seconds in this slot here. Again the blaze powder and this time 42 enchanted powders to craft an elixir. This will give you for 2 hours 2 extra hearts on your health bar. Which is really really useful and it lasts for 2 hours, 2 real hours not 2 minecraft hours. Alright so that was it about uh, the crafting recipes, I mean now let's use these potions. So let's place them in my inventory. Alright, so the first one is the U Ultra Swiftness Potion. And if I drop it, I will be affected. And you can see that I get really, really, really fast. Alright, and that's pretty much it about this one. Then, the when pigs fly potion is more a like a fun one. So if I take a pig, of course, as the name says, all pigs that are um, three, actually only the three closest pigs in an area of 10 blocks from these potions, they will uh, fly and then fall down and die poor pigs right then we have the equine a queen equine uh, sorry guys for the pronunciation equine drug this one is a powerful drug that will make your horse go faster infinitely so for the until he dies he will have this effect applied to it so let's take a horse so now you can see that the normal speed of this horse is this one okay this is the normal speed of our horse now if i use the equine drug and I drop it close to it you will see that it is a lot faster maybe it's not really a lot faster but it I, I can make sure that it is faster than the normal speed you can see that it goes way 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 faster than before and yeah it's a pretty useful thing that you can apply to your horses it demands a lot a lot of resources you will have to kill a lot of ghasts but at the end you can see guys that it becomes really really useful then the next one the super saturation potion of course uh, now it's just it's just a saturation potion so you don't have to eat for 10 minutes which is pretty useful a leg weakness potion it will make players or you unable to jump for one minute so let's apply it and now you can hear it i am pressing the space bar and i'm not able to jump guys i am trying to jump but i can't so this is a pretty annoying effect that you can apply to your enemies so they, they will not be able to jump <laughs> and that's it so the next one is even worse 
because we have a paralyzing potion this one if we apply it to a player he will not be able to even move the only thing that you can do is sprint and jump and you will be able to do something like this move really really slowly and that's the only thing that you can do that's pretty much what you can do so enemies can kill you really really fast or you can kill other enemies really fast if you apply these effects to them then we have here the elixir and to show it I have to go in game mode 0 you can see that I have my normal health bar if I drop this elixir here we got 2 extra hearts and it will last this effect will last for 2 hours 2 extra hours so pretty useful again now if you want to remove all of the effects that are applied to you may pay attention that it will also remove the positive effects you use a milk potion and if I drop it tada! all the effects disappeared so guys that was it about today's one command creation I really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did so don't forget to drop a like under the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already now I am going to fly to Romania tomorrow so I'm not really sure if I'll be able to keep up with the normal schedule and uploading videos as normal I will try to do my best not to miss any video but you can expect maybe maybe some of the videos will come late or some of the videos will be missing but anyways I will try to bring at least three videos uh, a week for the next week and uh, of course a one comment creation next Saturday so stay tuned guys and I wanted to ask you guys if you are interested in watching like a vlog maybe if I'm not able to uh, bring any video in the next couple of days uh, if you're interesting to watch a vlog and there, there's plenty of snow there and I'll probably do some uh, like also Minecraft related videos with snow there's plenty of snow plenty of stuff to do and I don't know I was thinking to make a vlog if you guys are interested I also asked it on Twitter and you guys you guys were happy with the idea so I want to know it so let me know in the comment section down below and I guess that I'll see you all guys in my next video see you oh, actually let me Move this. See you. Bye.